guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jerby from College Wasabi. So if you've been following me on my Instagram, I know you've seen me post like snippets on my stories about what happened to me last week, well, to me and Chris last week. So last week, we ordered something from Tapaking and we were served with plastic ridden eggs. And um, it was really, it was a really annoying experience so we ordered it for our brunch it was our first meal for that day and it was delivered to us we ordered three pack meals all of them contain plastic in their eggs so we're not sure if the eggs are fake or that's just basically plastic accidentally put on an egg as usual when you discover something like that you immediately call the branch who served you. So we were served by Tata King Pioneer and we were told a lot of excuses. Una, sabi nila, um, it was cooked daw kasi on high heat, kaya raw naging ganon. But we took videos, I'll show it to you here. So we took videos of the plastic in the eggs. And Tata King was claiming na, no, that's just egg cook on high heat, blah, blah, blah. And I told them, you know what, I'm not that stupid to grow as old as how old I am now, not to know what the cooked egg looks like. Either way, if you cook it on high heat or low heat or whatever heat that you cook it, it has to break when you try to tear them apart. Now, the thing is, yung thing na nandun sa egg doesn't really break apart and it's really evidently plastic. And all three orders all has those kind of eggs. And, Naturally, I was so pissed off, I was so annoyed, and I felt that the branch wasn't able to help me or assist me with that matter. They were just kept telling me that I was in high heat. I told them to come to our house and check it by themselves so that they could see what they were saying. So, ang tagal-tagal, nobody's attending to us. We even talked to their hotline to complain also para diretso sa head office. And wala pa rin. There's none. And then, what they did was, at that time, I just wanted to talk to the head office. Because it's ridiculous. They can't even, wala, wala silang na-offer. They just wanted to replace our eggs. And of course, at that time, wala na kaming gana kumain. Well, buti na lang, it wasn't, the food is not really for me. The food is for everyone else in our household. I don't really like eating that packing because I find it too, I find it too oily and gross. So, hindi rin naman ako nakakain. Pero ako yung busit na busit kasi they can't handle us well. They can't handle us properly, in fact. Kahit nga hindi na lang excellent customer service eh. Parang kahit na appropriate customer attention lang. Wala. So, what they did was they replaced the eggs with three other eggs, which is ridiculous. I already told them na ayoko na ng itlog nyo. Ayoko na. Stop it. No, nung pinadala nila yung egg, nung pinadala nila yung replacement egg, we even showed the rider kung ano yung plastic and even gave it to him so that he can bring it back to the branch and show it to the manager there. So, nung nakuha namin yung tatlong replacement egg, we noticed that meron ding ganong substance or material inside those new eggs so i realized that oh my god it's not just the branch it's like all their eggs are plastic um so what we did was i checked their head office buti na lang alam ko yung head office nila i'm very familiar of the building um and i told Chris we should go there and we should bring all of these garbage <laughs> we should show it to them so that's what we did. Pumunta kami ka sa head office. Ginambala namin sila, so to speak. We went there. I said, I wanted to talk to your manager or whoever handling this or your media relations manager. I just want to talk to them because I want to show these to them. These are plastic ridden eggs that we're serving to everyone. It's a public health hazard that you should not overlook. So I waited there for a couple of minutes, maybe 5 to 10 minutes. No one was attending to me, which was another point of frustration kasi walang pumapansin sa akin. And then I saw this girl who happens to be the manager 
talking to another staff na sinasabi, bakit daw hindi mo na kinuha yung details ko, bakit daw pinasa agad sa kanya. And at that point, I was just so pissed off because we were let to wait outside. We didn't, we weren't even invited to go into a proper conference room or a proper waiting area. Nandun kami sa labas pinaantay. And I just had to interrupt her. I went inside. I invited myself in. Dahil walang pumapansin sa kanya. And I told her, excuse me, are you the one that I should talk to? Because pinakita ko sa kanya, these are all the plastic written eggs that you guys delivered to me this morning. And it's either you guys are gonna talk to me here in your office or I'm gonna be talking about this in public. And then that's when I guess I got her attention and she attended to me, which is like ridiculous. Kasi, bakit walang pumapansin sa akin? And to her reasoning, sabi niya, hindi raw niya kasi in-expect na yung tao na napadalahan nila ng plastic egg would go to their head office agad. Yeah, wow, well. If you try to send one person six plastic ridden eggs, is it not enough of a reason for that person sugurin kayo talaga sa head office nyo? I mean, God, that's just so ridiculous. It's So, this happened last Monday. I waited until today. I didn't want to talk about it kasi I wanted for them to get back to us first. I wanted to provide an objective... Like, I wanted to handle this objectively. I don't want to be telling people about it. I told my family and friends about it. I told them not to eat at Tata King because we've had this experience and it's honestly a public health hazard siya. It's something as a grounds for them to be revoked with their, I don't know, their environmental clearance or sanitary clearance. I really don't know. But... I know it's something. So it happened to me last Monday. I didn't really talk about it until nangyari yung dapat mangyari. So we went to the head office. Finally, they attended to us. Inupo na kami finally sa isang conference room dahil nag iingay na ako doon. <laughs> Pinakita ko talaga sa lahat ng tao doon na plastic yung pinapadala nila sa amin. It's a plastic egg. It's without a doubt a plastic egg. And I told them. And what, you know what, what's funny is when I got there, Ang sinasabi naman ng management is they're cooking their eggs very slow in very low heat. Which was like very contradicting to what the branch was telling me because sa branch sinasabi nila they cook their eggs in very high heat. Tapos sa uh, head office sabi nila in very low heat blah 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 blah. Sinabi ko na lang, you know what, it doesn't matter if you cook it in high heat or low heat. Then pinakita ko yung piece of egg which was clearly plastic. But it shouldn't behave like this. Pinahita ko sa kanila. It's two adults pulling the piece apart, pero hindi siya mapuputol. That's not egg. We, whether you cook it in high heat, low heat, whatever heat that you cook it, it has to break apart. And then I, ayan, they got all the packaged meals. They said they will send it for testing and review. And in the meantime, in the pool kami dun, and we were given water. We didn't know what to do. Tapos, bumalik ulit yung operations manager. And she told me, um, meron na raw silang isang case na customer na nag-complaint about them, na may aluminum daw na kain, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, why are you telling this to me? Sinabi pa niya sa story na yon, ang ending daw, yung customer din daw yung my fault. Kasi wala naman daw silang aluminum in their kitchen, so yung customer lang yung nakalagay ng aluminum and sila yung handle so, when she was telling me that, I was like, what are you telling me this for? Gusto mo bang sabihin na kasalanan ko to at kami lang yung naglagay niyan? Hindi ko naintindihan bakit niya sinasabi yung story na yan. Either way, I told her, you know what, the way you handle this is very poor. Like, I've handled a lot of brands and I know how you should handle a crisis or something like this at least. But she can't even handle it well. She didn't make the customer feel reassured. She didn't make the customer feel at least safe. Parang sinabi pa niya na may possibility na kami lang ng gumawa nun. And it's just so ridiculous kasi parang, dude, if you know me and my calendar and actually how I run my life, I have very little time for this. And number two, in fact, me being at their head office and spending the entire day dealing with that It's already too much for me.
nakain yung buong araw ko dahil sa pangyayaring yon, Which delayed me in a lot of ways for the entire week. So, I was so annoyed. Hindi man lang niya naisip yun. Hindi niya na-consider yung inconvenience. She didn't even apologize for the inconvenience cost. So, hindi ko alam kung anong gagawin nila sa amin. Though they held us in the conference room. Nag-usap sila sa kabilang conference room. Until finally, they called the corporate nurse. Who doesn't really dress up like a corporate nurse? I really don't know. It's such an informal setting. But parang, oh, it's just so annoying talaga. So, sinamahan kami dun sa maliit ng hospital. Kasi raw, yun yung closest. So, we went there and asked kung ano yung checkups na kailangan namin itake simply because Chris has already ingested the heated plastic. It's basically plastic that's fried. So, it's heated plastic na kinain ng tao. And I was telling them, you know what? Kahit nga whale, balyena na mamatay sa ingested plastic. So, how much more? Ito, this is so, so bad for the body heated plastic, pinaritong plastic na nakain. It's because it was part of their egg. And not just one egg, it was three eggs and more eggs. Dahil napadali sila ng six eggs. I was so annoyed and I was so just frustrated the entire day. And also that's the reason why I didn't want to post about it that day. Kasi you will just hear me rant illogically. At least now I can tell you the entire experience. And I can tell you that there's not much um, help that Tapa King made. So, Monday, I spent the whole day dun nga sa small hospital, pero ang ending, wala rin, kasi wala rin silang enough facility, so we were sent to Medical City, and I spent the entire afternoon waiting for Chris to finish his checkups at Medical City. Na wala rin, kasi ano naman ang makikita mo, diba? Nakain na nga yung plastic. What else can you see? So, wala rin, and May 1 was a holiday, that was a Wednesday. Wala rin. Um, ang sabi, may follow-up check-up kami dapat ng May 2, I think. But May 2 happened, wala rin kaming check-up na napuntahan. And as of today, wala kaming update from Tapaking. It's already a Saturday. It happened last Monday. If you are handling crisis for your brand, if you, if you are handling something like this for your brand, I feel that the manager should I feel that the upper manager should have given me a call and maybe updated me on what's happening, how should we go about this moving forward, what are the steps that they're taking to prevent this Yung mga ganun, there's none. It's so annoying. Wala talaga. Even during that day, ng Monday na nangyari yun, I was waiting for the head office to call me. They didn't call me. Which also gave me, like, which also provoked me talaga to get out of the house and go to their, uh, and go to their head office straight. Kasi I was waiting for a phone call that never happened. And when we got, when we got there, side office, I told them that na, Bakit wala sa inyo tumawag sa akin? I've been waiting for your call. Blah, 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 blah. They're, they've been meaning to call daw. Blah, 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 blah. And I just told the operations manager, you know what? You shouldn't have gotten to that position kung hindi ka marunong mag-handle ng crisis. I mean, God, go back to MBA or go back so, to social media marketing. I really don't know. But you have to polish on how you handle things like this. And this is just not like your typical insect in the food or your typical contaminant in the food. This is plastic. And I don't know, but to me, heated plastic raises everything to a whole new level. Especially, it's a plastic mimicking your regular fried egg. And especially, nalaman namin that yung branch na yun is a corporate controlled branch, meaning they source all their eggs from the head office and meaning hindi lang isang branch yung affected. A lot of branches may be affected by this procurement mishap, procurement gap. I really don't know because they didn't really update me about it. And I'm still waiting for them to call me. So if you guys know anyone from Tapa King, if you know the people behind it, I don't know, please let me, let them get in touch with me. Let me get in touch with them. Show them this video. I don't know. Just please let them talk to me. Then, walang update. 
I asked Chris kung kinontak siya. Kinontak siya, pero walang update for the second um, checkup, which they promised last Monday. Wala rin update on the results of their testing. Because we want to know. As, as your con customer, as your consumer, we want to know, what's this? What's this? Ano to? Saan nanggaling to? And we chose not to talk about it no Monday because we wanted to wait for the investigation to happen or at least for them to update us. Since walang nangyaring ganon, I'm just fed up na. I just want everyone to know about it. We've tried posting it in our circle lang, like in some of the groups that we are in because we don't want to be all, you know, boom to everyone about it. But it's just annoying na yung ibang tao sabi nila, oh, we're just making it up. God, we don't have time to make this up. And we were given six plastic ridden eggs. That's kind of a lot. And if the branch tells us na galing yan sa head office, it just gave me the logical reasoning that, oh my God, there's not just one branch that is affected. A lot of branches are affected. So if you guys are eating at tapaking, you guys have to be very vigilant about their eggs. Like, stop eating fast food eggs na lang in the meantime until this is sorted out or until they had released a public statement about it. I really don't know. Companies can obviously, like, twist investigations or their results unless a third party steps in and checks on it. Um, the thing is, we don't have the package meals anymore. Kinuha nila talaga lahat. They got all the package meals. They got all the clinical results ng checkup ni Chris. So, wala kaming hawak ngayon. It's all with them, but we took videos, and that's what I have right now. And we even showed yung video sa doctor na nag check up kay Chris, and he confirmed na plastic yung material na yun. I mean, any single person who's seen it would say it's a plastic. Even nung nandun ako sa head office, lahat ng tao dun, pinahita ko yung plastic, I was stretching it in front of their faces, everybody would tell me it's plastic. Because we're not that stupid not to know it's not plastic. So, um, yeah, that's it. I just want to share this out because walang update. It's like hinulog na nila yung case out of nowhere. Nobody's been updating us. It's been five days. I think that's a little too long for them to take. Um, in my opinion, they should have updated us maybe last Thursday or at least kahapon, Friday, the last business day of the week. But wala pa rin. So, I was really disappointed. And my advice to you is that stop eating at tapaking don't eat their eggs. Stay vigilant about other fast food eggs because probably the commissary is also supplying to a lot of other fast food chains, small or big. We really don't know. So, you know, just be careful. So, there you go, guys. I just want to share this experience with you. Um, in some of the communities that we've posted about this um, incident, Meron ding ibang taong nagsabi, oh my god, this happened to me. So, I, we really don't know. Um, if you know anyone who has experienced this, maybe you can leave a comment below and let me know kung ano yung nangyari. And I don't know, I feel like hindi pa nila na-handle to eh. Kasi hindi nga nila alam paano i-handle ako, what happened to me. So, I don't know if it's the first time that they've heard of, of it. I don't know if people have experience it it's just that nobody's been talking about it or nobody's been sure about it but i am really sure what happened with that it's really plastic so ayun if you guys i don't know what else to say it's this is enough of a rant video and yeah i guess i just want to end it here and uh, i'll see you in the next video Bye.